Lu Da Ren, Human Nail. Making a difference in your world. Lu Da Ren used to work in demolition. But when he heard about what was going on at Beijing's Fish Castle restaurant, he was moved to go over to the other side. When I saw this situation, I knew there was fraudulent behavior. I knew the owners were cheating people. They knew this place was going to be torn down, yet they still signed a contract with these renters. The Fish Castle renters had two years left on a three-year contract. They say the compensation they were initially offered did not begin to cover the cost of setting up the restaurant during the first year. In China, the term nail house refers to situations when people refuse to allow their land or buildings to be confiscated because of disputes over compensation. Lu is Beijing's first human nail for hire. I'm at this place 24 hours a day, living here and sleeping here. I will be here until there's some sort of compensation agreement. Authorities cut off Fish Castle's water and electricity and demolished a coal stove Lou set up to ward off the cold. Unidentified men came by and roughed Lou up. He says he and his boss thought violence was possible. Talking about the risk of death, my boss gives me accidental life insurance. On top of this, if something unexpected happens and I die, the boss would pay a settlement on top of my salary. These are the terms. Work is work. Lou says people like him sound alarm bells that things are not right. The Fish Castle issue was resolved after a month-long standoff. Both parties agreed to discuss higher compensation. Lou was paid for his work, but the end of that job may be the beginning of a new career. In the short term, there will still be a need for this sort of thing. This house nail problem still exists because the government has not taken steps to resolve it. It is a leftover from our history. Businessmen have contacted Lou about starting a company offering anti-demolition services. Chinese media reports also say a film director is interested in telling his story. This is my weapon. I'm Stephanie Ho for VOA's Making a Difference in Beijing.